Hi there my magical star beings, this is Psychic Siren Tarot and welcome to the channel. In today's reading we're going to be taking a look at what people remember about you, okay? Please be aware this is a general reading, only take what resonates, leave the rest. I'm now going to show your crystals, so for pile number one we have Fire Agate. For pile number two, we have the screen of entering crystal. And for pile number three, we have how light. I'm going to give you a few seconds to pick a pile. Pick whichever pile you're most drawn to, the one that is calling out to your soul the most, and that will be your pile for today. Once you're done picking a pile, please find the timestamps for your pile in the description box below, and then I will see you at your reading. Hi there my pile number ones, if you chose this fire agate crystal, this reading is for you. We're going to be taking a look at what people remember about you. Please be aware this is a general reading, only take what resonates, leave the rest. And what people remember about you may not necessarily be how the, you view yourself, okay? So you chose the card Dragon with power and strength. I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of your cards, let's see what shows up today. Okay, so for your cards, we have Aphrodite with Inner Goddess, Awaken the Goddess within you through dawn, self-care, and appreciating your divinity. We have here Freya with Bold, Unleash your adventurous side, take risks, and be daring. We have here Bright Heart Light with Open Connections. We have here Friendship with Support, Fun, Unity and Play. We have here the Eight of Swords. We have the Chariot. We have the Queen of Pentacles. And lastly, we have the King of Wands. So I kind of just want to, I'm going to move these cards up a bit so it's more comfortable for you to see everything. Uh, we have the Empress card. We have the Well. We have the Four of Wands. And lastly, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so before we start with your reading, I do have a small favor to ask from you. The last three months, 80% of people who watch my channel didn't subscribe. So if you've ever liked any of the videos I've posted and you like this channel, can you do me a favor and hit the subscribe button? It helps my channel more than you know. And the bigger the channel gets, the more content I can create and put out to you guys. Thank you for everyone who has subscribed within the past few days, as well as those that have been here from the beginning. Thank you for all your love, all your support. I'm so, so, so grateful. Uh, thank you and enjoy the reading. Okay, my pal number one. So in terms of what people remember about you, um, as I go along, we may have very different things come through depending on what people remember about you and remember remember how other people remember you in their memories may not be how you see it so just keep that in mind the interesting thing i am noticing here is in this eight of swords card we see this woman being trapped here but trapped by her own hair so you know hair is actually a symbol of power um it's reminding me of that story in the Bible, I think, where his hair was his power or something like that. 
Um, and I'm reading here on Google, hair doesn't compose because of this. Hair was a symbol of eternal life and a reminder of mortality and immortality. So I, I understand some people say that you shouldn't cut your hair because it's a symbol of your power, your spiritual power. And it kind of reminds me of like the lion and how they kind of wear their mane out to stand out because they're the king of the jungle. You know what I mean? You give me very much that vibe. Like you have a lot of power in you. I mean, even with this dragon here, I think people remember you for having a lot of power within you. And since the hair is wrapped around her, I see this as like power that is held within you that is waiting to come out, that is waiting to shine out to the world, that is kind of lying dormant within you or at least your past self. And that's how people remember you. They see you being, well, in the past, they saw you being such a person that had such a bright, big heart. And you were such a light for those in your life and those around you. You still are today. But there's something about people once remembering you to have that power inside of you see that potential within you but maybe felt maybe you felt stuck with showing it to the outside world and we can take this towards um your passions your creativities we can take this towards making bold decisions to something in your career or making a bold decision to wear something out there or flaunting your confidence flaunting that power within you whether this has to do with career, your own sense of self-worth and how you put yourself out there, your hobbies, things like that. I'm not exactly sure because it's different for all of you. But there's something here about you once being stuck um, with so much power and potential within you. And people have seen you in real time kind of find that yourself move forward, free yourself of that stuckness that you once experienced. Because the horses here sometimes r remind me of the energy of freedom and it's next to the Eight of Swords. So there's something here about you having this immense power within you in the past and people remember seeing that, seeing your potential and being like, that person... I don't know if they see their own potential, but they shouldn't be hiding themselves. They should be standing out and being bold. I can see that within them. Or that person over there, I can see they really like art. Why don't they share their art? Their art is so good. It's so powerful. I can see them going somewhere where maybe you didn't see it yourself yet. Or maybe they saw you working really hard and that there's like that person's going to be really abundant and wealthy here with the queen of pentacles they're going to be very fruitful in all their endeavors maybe they don't see that yet but i see it and that's something i see very clearly or um this person has such a good looking vibe to them they're so beautiful uh you know they could really pull off this type of bold style and get away with it and maybe you started finding your own sense of fashion style and claiming yourself to the world like that king of the jungle kind of energy with the lion. Um, it's like people once saw your power hidden inside of you and then now or at least from that time to now they've kind of seen you free yourself of that stuckness, find your own freedom, move forward um, create a reality where you are your most boldest, brightest self, standing out to everyone and shining and doing it in a very bold and fiery way, in a very powerful way, whether this is in your career, in your hobbies, in the way that you express yourself. I see that people once saw this and then now they see it shining out of you and it's like, I knew that person would have been something great. Like, I can see that, you know. Um, 
that's the kind of energy I see. So people remember you for your immense power within that was waiting to come out. Just as we see this dragon, the dragon hasn't breathed fire yet, but they see that fire and strength within you. And now you're starting to really breathe out that fire. I mean, you chose the fire agate crystal. You're starting to really breathe your fire now. You're starting to really show your power and strength now. And it's like people remember you for that as well as you were growing into that. People remember you for being so bold, maybe dressing very authentically and seeing you, feeling inspired by you, finding you so, so, so gorgeous or so beautiful or so um, handsome. There's something here about you looking very good with the Aphrodite card. Um, because Aphrodite was the goddess of beauty. So, and she was the most beautiful goddess of them all. So I see here people remember you for being really beautiful, really handsome, really attractive, really sexy, and very divine in some way. And they remember you for standing out and being bold and being true to your authentic self in the way you express yourself, in the way you carry yourself. And I see a lot of people maybe like using you as inspiration. Oh, I see your outfit today. <laughs> I'm gonna make a mental note of that and take inspiration from that. Oh, this person dyed, my pile number ones dyed their hair like this. It looks so good and innovative and bold and I would have never thought of that, but that looks so good. Like that type of energy of being inspired by you, by your boldness, by your adventurous side and there's something here about people remembering you for taking risks in, you know, your work, um, taking leaps of faith, taking kind of this route of the road less tra traveled, but kind of like making it within your career. People remember you for being very wealthy or... People remember that you are wealthy or they think you're wealthy in some way with the Queen of Pentacles here. And people also remember you being very fruitful in all your endeavors, in all your career endeavors and in your finances. Um, it's like they see you really working hard and really achieving your dreams and making bold, big moves. That's something I see. People also remember you being very passionate about your work, about your hobbies, about your, some of you are artistic or creative in some way and people remember you like that, like being very bold with your creativity in some way, being very powerful, being very strong. And you also have an emotional resilience to you and that's something people also remember, but people also remember you having a physical strength where you can really go after the things you want and do it in a very powerful, bold way. Does that make sense? That's something I'm seeing. I'm also hearing fashion style. People really remember your fashion style and really like it in some way. I think people remember you maybe once feeling stuck in your career or finances and it's like now they're seeing you get a lot of abundance for the hard work you have put in since then. So like people remember you and remember you being like very consistent and hardworking and now they're seeing that pay off and it's kind of like people are watching your life and how big and bold it is and it's almost like they want to eat popcorn. It's like there's an, this intrigue here people have towards your life, especially people that remembered you once struggling in your career or finances and now they see that area of your life really leveling up in some way. I think people once remember you to be a certain way, but now they've seen you grow more into the version of yourself you are today. And that's something people remember you for, but also really admire about you. People remember you for having a lot of strength in, like I said, your emotional nature. Because I see here you've gone through, or at least people remember you going through a lot of endings in your life that weren't so great. 
maybe you ended connections, relationships, and you had to kind of be emotionally strong in those instances, or you had to leave a job to maybe take a leap of faith, a bold step, or you had to leave behind certain things because they were hurting you and they were not fulfilling you, they were disappointing you. I don't know. There's something about that here, but people seeing you heal from it and I think people remember maybe the words you said during your healing journey like let's say you posted a quote about healing or you told someone that you're that you just went through this and you're healing from it and it's like people remember you once being maybe a little bit afraid of the world or afraid of heartbreak or afraid of standing out in some way but now they see you being your most bold self so I, I don't know why I'm getting the messages in this way but like I'm kind of getting what they remember from you and now how they see you now and it's like they remember you once being so disappointed once being in a rut where you kind of grew from that and I think a lot of people found inspiration from how you grew from that and how you took yourself out of that disadvantaged state or that stuck feeling or that heartbreak feeling it's like people remember you being so emotionally strong in tough moments and that's something people remember about you People also remember you being someone very analytical, being someone very much like analyzing things and finding out, okay, why did this not work? Um, and then finding the kind of wisdom from it. That's something I see or finding ways to make choices to get yourself out of that. Like by analyzing those situations, that's something I see as well. Um, and some people just remember you kind of going towards newness and leaving behind the old. So people remember you having endings and new beginnings in your life that were actually very fruitful, you taking those new beginnings because some people... You know, like when we take a new beginning, some people don't really believe in us or believe it can work out. But it's like all your choices you made were so intuitive and so receptive to what the universe was telling you, even if you were new to it. For example, let's just say you made a bold move to leave your nine to five job, uh, become a fashion designer. And now you've succeeded. But maybe once people thought, oh, this person's just a beginner at this, blah, 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 blah. But you had that immense power within you. And now they remember you once being that beginner and now being so good at what you do and being so talented at what you do. That's something I see. People also remember you to be someone that changed your perspective, perspective on things a lot. Not maybe a lot, but like your perspective on life was always transforming and that's what people remember about you. How your perspective on life is always ever growing and always ever changing. Like maybe someone could talk to you in the month of January 2020 and you had a certain perspective about love that was very much like as a result of the things you've been through and then maybe you got into a healthy relationship like a year later and your perspective on love was totally different. You get what I mean? So people remember you changing perspectives of life and finding your own sense of meaning and wisdom with your connection to the universe, with your connection to God, to spirit, to the divine in some way. And that's something I see people remember about you. 
And I think people remember you finding and like Spirit is showing me a girl I used to be friends with in in like school. It was very much like early, early, early school, uh, like when I was still a kid and I was friends with this girl and she was so cool. Like she used to like to collect rocks and things like that um, and <laughs> crystals and things like that. And, you know, I'd sit there and look for for crystals with her and then she'd add it to her collection I haven't seen her for a long time but Spirit's just showing me that um and I think that means you took some things maybe you dealt with in life um you took that you healed from it and they they remember you healing from it and then they remember you taking and collecting different pieces of information and wisdom from your own healing journey, from your own lack of love, from your own lack of um, money, from your own like challenges. And it's like they saw you taking different pieces of wisdom, collecting them, taking different pieces of truths, collecting them and building yourself up with that and that's something people see and remember you doing but also they remember you being so deep I think people remember you for having a lot of depth to you because the well card is an extra card in this tarot deck and I kind of see this energy of like whenever people would meet you it's like they're going down this deep well with you and all of a sudden they're in this Alice in Wonderland universe you're taking them to another world where things are different here things are more loving things are more open things are more bold we can be ourselves we can express ourselves no judgment here and we can be our most powerful versions of ourselves here and really connect to the beauty of the world and that's something I see but also I think people remember having very deep conversations with you where you share where you shared words of wisdom with them or where you shared a lot of things with them maybe your perspective on life and you have a very deep knowledge and wisdom of the universe and it's like I think people remember having those deep conversations with you and just feeling so understood and feeling like they click with you and feeling like, you know, we can go down rabbit holes together, talk about this, talk about that, have deep conversations, say anything, no judgment here, like that type of energy. And I think people also remember you for your conversations, like you've had very fun conversations with people and I think they remember you for that and you know you may have made people laugh in some conversations you've had or just made them feel very happy with your presence or vibe and there's like this bold fiery energy to what they remember from your conversations but also I see some people just found you to be very passionate about life ambitious and it's like they remember you being that way they remember you being such a celebration to be around um, I think people really like to be around your presence and they remember you for being so passionate so playful so fun you could have even been seen as the life of the party to some and I know some of you may say what not me but I see that that's at least what people think or remember you for. People remember you transforming and rebirthing yourself so many times that it's like each time they went to check up on you, whether they went to go on your Instagram page or ask your friends or ask someone you know, it's like each time they heard about you, they saw you transforming and rebirthing yourself constantly and that's something I see as well that people remember about you. People also remember you being such a truthful person, being very much truthful, being in that integrity energy, 
being trustworthy as well. And I see here people also remembering you being very much non-judgmental, like they could tell you anything and you would not judge them. They could act in any way, you would not judge them. That you could be remembered for being very fair, very unbiased, even like if people have asked you for advice because you see the world with such depth and wisdom, it's like you'd be very unbiased and be very honest, but in a very kind way. And that's something people remember about you um, because I think some people really value that you're so truthful and honest and you live by your integrity and you don't do to others what you wouldn't want be done to you. So that's something people remember about you, just being very fair and balanced and practical, but also wise. And also it's like, Spirit showing me the Libra scales. So that just gives me the vibe of like you could see things from many different perspectives and that's something people remember about you. Like let's say they came to you and they were like, oh, you know, I just had a fight with my husband, blah, 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 blah. And then you're like, okay, um, you know, your husband is wrong for this, but you're wrong for this, but you'd say it in a very kind way where it can bridge two perspectives together in a very fair, honest way. That's something I see. People also remember you to be very patient, to be very much like, like they remember your vibe to be very healing in some way. And uh, people remember you to bring them peace as well. So I guess on different days of what different people got from you, some people found you to be such a celebration to be around, whereas others remember you to be so peaceful to be around. They remember you being so compassionate, so loving, so giving, so nurturing and so understanding and being able to connect on a deep heart to heart level with others. That's something people remember you for, but also people remember you being so supportive, such a good friend to them, such a good partner to them and being so compassionate and nurturing. People also remember you to be down to earth and very grounded as well. So I guess it depends on what what perspective they have of you because there's many different ones here or you're maybe just multi-dimensional. Um, I see here people remember you to be very similar to them. I think you mirror a lot of things to people if that makes sense and I'm hearing that song from Barbie where she's like I'm just like you, you're just like me. <laughs> so it's like People often remember talking to you and relating to you, being able to feel like they relate to you, like this person is just like me. I want to keep them in my life. I want to be friends with them. I want to have them by my side. Um, it's like you match a lot of people's energies and that's what people remember about you. Just you being very similar to them or having a similar perspective to them or liking similar movies, music, um, liking similar hobbies. It's like some people remember that and being like, I want to be this person's friend. This person just gets me. That's something I see. People also remember you to love in such a true love type of way where you really create this deep love, this deep open heart connection to those people around you. And it's kind of like people remember maybe being your friend and then maybe not talking to you for like a few months and then maybe asking to catch up with you for coffee and it's like they just click with you even if they haven't seen you in long and that's something people remember about you like it's so easy with this person we can just catch up and it's like we never had a day apart and we just get each other and that's something I see people remember about you. People also remember you to be such, such like a person that treats everyone 
like they are yourself, if that makes sense. Like you treat everyone with this true love. You treat everyone with such support, such love. And it's like you create something better in their life. You don't just you don't just treat them with love. You give them something to go home with that adds value to their life and that's something people remember about you but also you being such a person that is like in union with all no matter what they look like no matter who they are it's like you just have this very much accepting energy like like this energy of creating a community around you and I see a lot of people remember liking you for that. And it's like you bring people together. That's something I see. Because Spirit is showing me um, the movie 13 going on 30. When she kind of walks into um, that event for her work. And everyone is there but everyone's bored. So she puts on a Michael Jackson song and starts dancing in the middle of the dance floor. And then everyone starts dancing with her. And I think people remember you for being bold like that. Because it's like they wanted to have fun and dance. And then you started dancing with them. And then they feel like they can just have fun and be themselves. And that's something people remember about you. Those that remember you to be very generous and very compassionate and loving, those that don't necessarily understand boundaries um, or maybe those that kind of like, how do I put this in words? Not, not respecting your boundaries, but some people haven't gotten comfortable with that themselves. So they get very triggered when others do set boundaries and speak their truth. And some people remember being very triggered by you or maybe even calling you hostile for setting a boundary because it's like at, at some point they were used to you being so giving and so loving that they thought they could just take from you or just continue doing whatever or treating you however. But then when you set a boundary or speak, speak your truth, it's like they saw you to be very hostile um, and mean, but I don't think you're mean. So that's a very few people I'm picking up on. Um, <laughs> that's a very minuscule energy. But anyways, I also see here like people remember you for being such a type of person that understands them like I guess maybe you were the type of person that could finish people's sentences or understand them before they even complete their sentence or understand them when they're finding it hard to explain how they're feeling or what they're experiencing it's like you understand on a heart level on an empathic level if that makes sense and I think a lot of people remember you to be very loyal and remember you to be having a lot of healing energy but also a lot of knowledge and having amazing values as well. People also remember giving you, giving to you like you receiving something from them and you looking very happy while you receive something. Like if anyone's ever bought you a gift, it's like they remember that and they remember how you looked when you received it or if they took you out for dinner or whatever. It's like people remember that and that feeling of giving to you that was so good for them. Um, I'm also seeing people remember you for being very romantic like I guess this is love interests and kind of like this energy of marriage material <laughs> and people remember you to be someone that has a huge destiny a huge fate and a huge purpose people remember you to have this huge power within you of growth of finding that bold spark of fire within you and spreading it and 
giving it to the whole world in some way or expressing it to the whole world in some way. So some people remember you for that and thought like you'd have a very big purpose or a very big fate in this lifetime where you are just seen as a celebration to most and celebrated by most and people really saw you as someone very much with this go with the flow type of vibe but also someone very magnetic and beautiful on the inside and out um, I'm hearing your voice your voice is very beautiful that's something people remember about you but also I feel like you have this energy of power within you but also this energy of being a lover and sharing your heart with the world if that makes sense and that's kind of the vibe I pick up on from you um, my pile number ones of what people remember about you I really hope that this reading resonated if it did please don't forget to like comment subscribe and I can't wait to see you in my next reading bye Hi there my pile number twos, if you chose the Screen Adventuring Crystal, this reading is for you. We're going to be taking a look at what do people remember about you. So you chose the card Earth Fairy with Physical Health, Grounding and Foundations. I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of your cards, but before I do, please note that this is a general reading. Only take what resonates to leave the rest. And also be aware, this is a reading on what people remember about you. And the way they remember it may not necessarily be the way you remember it. Okay, so just keep that in mind. I'm going to go ahead and add the cards now. Let's see what shows up. Okay, my pal twos. For your cards, we have cycles and rhythms with honor the cycles of your body, energy levels and emotions. We have bright future with stop worrying everything is going to be fine we have your precognition with psychic ability and future vision we have your achievement with effort plus intention We have the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Pentacles. We have the Page of Cups. And we have the Ten of Swords. For your other tarot cards, we have the Eight of Swords. We have the Sun. We have the Artist. And lastly, we have the Six of Wands. Okay, so before we start with your reading, I do have a small favor to ask from you. The last three months, 80% of people who watch my channel didn't subscribe. So if you've ever liked any of the videos I've posted and you like this channel, can you do me a favor and hit the subscribe button? It helps my channel more than you know. And the bigger the channel gets, the more content I can create and put out to you guys. Thank you for those of you that have been here from the beginning. And thank you for those of you that have decided to support within the past few days. I'm really grateful for all of your support, for all your comments, for all your love. I'm sending so much love and enjoy the reading. Okay, my pile number twos, now that we have your cards laid out, I see exactly what people remember about you. So I'm seeing here a lot of people remember you being someone that feels things very deeply, being someone that connects on a very deep level to your emotions and a lot of people remember you as someone that is comfortable with their emotions as someone that doesn't mind sharing their experiences or sharing how they feel 
um, people really viewed you and remembered you as someone that was comfortable with their emotions regardless of what other people thought like if you wanted to cry you could cry like you you were comfortable with your emotions and you honored them and a lot of people actually found inspiration from that because a lot of sensitive souls saw you being comfortable with your emotions and was like huh pile number two is okay with their emotions and speaking about it why can't I too be like that because I I feel things very deeply and there's nothing wrong with that and that's the type of energy I see here of what people remember about you and finding it finding it very empowering to see someone else think of life the same and feel things the same because I think as you were honoring your emotions and as you shared your feelings some people maybe felt like it was too much but I think those types of people are emotionally unavailable people so it's like people that related heavily to feeling on a deep level could relate to you and that's something they remember about you spirit is showing me bubbles from um powerpuff girls so people remember you to be very much like bubbles very sweet but also someone that feels things very deeply and as a result of you feeling things so deeply i also think that that has made you very intuitive my pile number twos because I feel here your intuition is on point and I don't know like something about your intuition people remember you by because it's like I feel like there's times here where people were feeling things very deeply as well and there's something about them remembering how you've helped them in ways you cannot even fathom. So some of you I don't know if you're tarot readers or if you're someone that just shares your intuitive messages with people or if you just kind of like said things to people without realizing where it's intuitive because I'm feeling those of you that are tarot readers it's like people remember the way you help them find their purpose the way they help you help them find freedom the way you've nurtured them and healed them in some way or help them find resources to heal themselves and understand their journey on a deeper level and find freedom within that and there's also times people remember if you're not a tarot reader <laughs> um, or a healer there's something about the times people remember you guiding them or helping them in some way with the words of advice you use um, people remember you to be very compassionate very giving very loving as we see here like your energy feels like a big hug um, and I don't know people remember the nice things you've done for them or the nice things you've said to them the nurturing understanding and compassion you've given them the advice you've given them it's like it's something they really remember you by and it's something they really look back to a lot because I think you also are someone that has freed a lot of people from things that from things that kind of held them down if that makes sense and I feel like you are someone that has been transforming has been growing uh, you've been always ever transforming because spirit is showing me the lotus flower so you've been someone that has experienced the lowest of the lows and reached the highest of the highs by transforming yourself understanding your emotions and there's something about that that deep connection to your emotions and that deep vulnerability that you have with people that has made you even more intuitive and there's something about people remembering you that way people remembering you as someone that is always ever transforming ever growing and it's like each time people see you you've grown more and you've transformed more and that's something people remember about you but also the intuitive guidance you've given or the advice you've given where it felt healing or transformative in some way because it's like you 
help them with something you do for yourself and maybe you help them make changes in their own life where you really nourish them and help them understand their emotions help them release emotional baggage I don't know if people have ever just come to you cried and you've nurtured them you've hugged them like I'm seeing someone um, cry and then you give them a big blanket a big hug make them hot chocolate um, like that type of nurturing energy that's how people remember you and that's what people remember about you but people also remember you just saying things to them where it's like so intuitive and you couldn't have possibly known that let's say for example um someone is just thinking of starting a business and you're like to them you're seeing them right at school and you're like uh at university and you're like uh you know your handwriting looks really good um and you actually plan so well because I, I worked in a group with you and I remember you being someone that planned things really well, that was very organized, blah, 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 blah. And then like, you should start a business. And then like later on that day, they're like, how did that person know that I wanted to start a business? Because I didn't tell anyone. Like that's the feeling I get um, where you gave people nudges of yes go for that without realizing that it was an intuitive message so that's something I see and I also see you maybe giving people advice or telling people to make this choice and then it works out great because it's like your intuition helped them in some way and that's something people remember about you people also remember you to be someone that has a visionary type of view of the world because it's like you were once at a place where you were so stuck here with the eight of swords maybe in your career in your finances or in the emotional aspect and it's like people remember you once being stuck once being in that place where nothing was working where there were challenges and it was hectic just heaviness this heavy feeling and it's like people remember you trying and trying and trying and picking up yourself and trying again picking yourself back up trying again um i'm hearing that song by snow Le snow allegra you try and you try again something along those lines so it's like people remember you having this kind of warrior attitude towards life where it's like you know I'm facing challenge after challenge uh chaos after chaos bad friendships bad connections uh conflict uh challenges in my career challenges in my finances challenges in my connections toxic connections it's like or people that are jealous of you it's like I see all these kind of issues here of things that have went wrong or things that just weren't satisfying you in life and it's like you made a choice to then really take a look at everything that was happening in your life make a choice to let go of certain people certain things in your life certain jobs that were keeping you stuck certain connections um i'm even hearing some of you uh took it a step further and moved homes or took leaps of faith and left something behind and it's like those choices were made based on your intuition and based on this nudge you had but maybe you didn't have any real proof or evidence that that choice would have helped you but something about the choices you made were so intuitive and so on point with your journey that the unsatisfaction you felt for life, you use that as fuel to transform yourself, but also transform your reality around you and take yourself out of that stuck feeling. And it's almost like people remember you for getting up, picking yourself back up after you failed or fell down, dusting yourself off, putting that crown back on your head and carrying on <laughs> with even more strength and even more 
motivation to get yourself out of that stuck place, out of that unsatisfied place. And that's something people remember about you. And I think that's also why people are so in awe of you and how you've kind of transformed your life. You've changed a lot from what people remember you as. I think a lot of people's perception of you has changed over the years because they once saw you being so stuck and then they saw you kind of just transforming yourself, going through rebirths in your energy, endings and new beginnings and then they saw you kind of transform and create your life the way you want it with the artist here and then I think people started seeing you differently where they started seeing you as this warrior like person the strength in you to kind of build your life to where you want it to be to create your life to what you want it to be and it's like those that maybe wished on your downfall that time when they saw you being stuck it's like now Maybe they wished on your downfall because maybe you triggered something in them. Like let's say you left a connection that wasn't good for you, but they stay in connections that aren't good for them. And it's kind of like this feeling of like looking down at you in the moment of you being stuck there at the bottom. Uh, or like let's say because it's triggering their own feeling of unsatisfaction within their own life or like let's say you left a job to become an artist for example uh, do something creative do something you're passionate about and maybe people look down on your decision before but it's like now they see how you've created your life with that visionary aspect how you've fold and picked yourself back up plenty of times and they see your strength now and they remember you differently from what they used to remember you. Now they remember you as or they see you as someone that is always ever growing, always transforming and creating your reality the way you want it. Using that unsatisfaction for life as fuel to push you forward to the life you want to build for yourself and that's something I see here and I think a lot of people that once looked down on those decisions you made or felt like it was the wrong decision it's like now they're seeing you and now I think they have a different perspective of you where there's like this respect here like you know you really are strong and resilient like respect kind of energy <laughs> that's something I see so I feel some of you are creative in some way or you've moved to something where you are really expressing yourself in some way expressing your passions for life in some way through your career or just taking on new hobbies some of you are creative some of you are into music dancing some of you you know paint some of you write stories some of you write poetry some of you draw I'm seeing a lot of creative energies and people remembering when you once started it and how lucky you've been on your pursuit to success uh, for those of you that aren't in that I see some of you being healers or emotional healers like psychologists things like that and it's like people saw you when you first started or whatever your career is I'm just seeing two aspects there it could be something completely different uh, I'm hearing some of you could work with kids because we have the sun and the page of cups um, but anyways people saw you when you first started out on your pursuit to success and it's like they saw you when you really worked hard when you were just putting your head down and focusing on your work and what you needed to do or your grades things like that it's like people saw you when you started and they remember you being so hard working a busy busy bee but then they remember you finding that sweet victory finding that achievement for the the hard work you've put into because the buffalo here as well um when i look at the buffalo i think of someone that can work very very hard more than the average person someone that has this 
resilience to them because the buffalo, if I'm not mistaken, can hold a lot of weight to something for long periods of time. I think it's in in the water or something along those lines or like on their back. If I'm mistaken, please correct me. But like I'm seeing something here about like you having this resilient nature towards your work and people remembering you that way. And then people seeing you find that success, find prosperity, find abundance. And it's like all the fruitfulness of all the hard work is coming in and you're being gifted by the universe with lots of achievements and lots of prosperity and abundance. And it's like people remember you getting that and remember feeling so inspired by seeing you reach success after putting in so much hard work. And there's something here about them cheering you on, feeling like you really deserve it and feeling like you have a bright future ahead of you. I think people remember seeing you, seeing how much effort you put in towards your hobbies, your passions, your career. And it's like they see that and then there's like this type of feeling of inspiration, but also this type of feeling of that, per that person is going to get far in life. They're going to have a very bright future because Lakshmi is also the goddess of wealth. And it's like people really saw you and remember you for your potential. And, and was like, that person is going to be rich one day. That person is going to be wealthy. That person is going to be successful. And that's something people remember. And then remember seeing you reach that, reach those goals and reach higher heights of where you want to be and use that kind of visionary skill to get yourself there. And it's like people remember you having those visionary creative ideas that are so big and out there and then maybe they never believed in you back then but then they see you transforming or changing your world around you building stable foundations and really focusing on achieving that and then then they start to see how successful you are with that I feel like you're very innovative people and that's something people remember about you and your visionary mind how you kind of think outside of the box people remember you for eating healthy for exercising taking care of your body taking care of your emotional nature people remember you maybe being tired one day and saying uh, i'm not coming into work today or school today because i feel i feel tired and sick and i'm not going to force myself to and then like maybe they come to work and they're also sick and they see you took the day off and then they're like that person really honors themselves. I should honor myself too. You know, I'm not going to get in trouble for honoring myself because I can't literally kill myself to build a company up. You know what I mean? I can't, I can't literally do this and hurt myself in the process and that's something I see or like times where you were going through things emotionally and then you honored it and you didn't force yourself and that's something people remember about you and actually found admiration from whereas others maybe got triggered from it because it's like they never allow themselves to have rest or to honor their feelings and it's like they're just triggered by that by you doing the opposite of what they do. You get what I mean? Um, I'm hearing the song, all the pretty girls walk like this. <laughs> so I, I guess people remember you for being very pretty or remember you for being very attractive, very beautiful in some way or very handsome. Um, you give me this type of vibe where people put you on a pedestal, royalty vibes. And it's like people remember putting you on that pedestal and finding you to be like a queen, a king or like royalty and really looking up to you as well. 
having a lot of power within that, um, within yourself, within your self-worth, but also maybe the way you walked was very attractive because that's a song I heard, but also there's something about your voice sounding like a melody and that's something people remember as well and your heart as well. So people remember you, especially friendships, to be so compassionate, so compassionate, so graceful, so nurturing, very much like this true love type of energy. Maybe this is also romantic connections. And it's like they remember how beautiful you treated them, how you treated them with this love, with this care. It's like you held everyone's heart with this gentleness, with this care, you didn't break their hearts and you held it like it was the most gentle thing in the world, like it was the most valuable thing in the world that couldn't be dropped. And that's something I see people remember about you. Um, even ex-lovers, even ex-friends, that's one thing they cannot say about you because you've always been this loving person. And that's something they can't admit like that you've always been someone with this very loving energy and that's something they can never I wouldn't say they can never have in another person but they can never have it in the same way especially friends or ex-partners that have been shady to you in some way it's like that's all they can remember from you how loving you were to them and how they treated you badly. And it 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 actually is going to or already has made them self reflect on their actions. And it's like, you know, when you treat someone kindly and then you are very loving and kind to them and then they I'm hearing F you over. I don't want to swear on this channel, but let's say I'm hearing the F you over they are going to remember you for that kindness and then it's almost going to make them self-reflect and be like, I was so rude to that person, but they were so kind to me. And I'm seeing this happen, but then them kind of not wanting to accept it and maybe trying to tell people you were rude, trying to tell people you, uh, you did something to them like that type of energy but then i think people can see it's a lie so that's something i see here um i'm also seeing like a lot of people just even if it's not people that you broke up with in a friendship or romantic way in a hectic way like just people where you drifted apart from them where you were their friend or their lover it's like they remember the playful moments you've had together, the connection you had, the deep love that was there, the deep nurturing, the conversations, the memories. It's like they remember all of that and they think back to it and admire it. And I'm smelling perfume now. So a lot of people from your past have you in the memory and it's like they remember all the cute moments you had together and all the fun moments you had together and they remember how good you smelled or how beautiful you were, how attractive you were, um, but also how beautiful your heart is. And it's like all they look back to is those fun moments. I see a lot of people reminiscing and talking about you and being like, oh, there was a day I went to pi with Pile 2 to the beach and it was so, so, so much fun. Let me tell you the story, like that type of energy, like people from your past, that's something I'm hearing, uh, where there was no bad blood between you, where it was just a thing of like drifting apart. And it's like they often reminisce on that the playful memories you had together, but also friendships, like the playful memories, like you just doing fun things together, you laughing together, you having so much fun together, you doing creative, great things together. I think people also remember your conversations, maybe the things you said to them that made them smile, the things you said to them that uplifted them your conversations where you shared knowledge or wisdom or you just 
had very deep conversations with people and it was so cool to have those conversations with you and that's something people remember about you people also remember you being someone very protective over those you love and treating those you love like family people also remember you being very organized being very disciplined being someone that can focus and plan things people remember you for being so loving for being such a hard worker and for kind of moving forward in life and not letting these circumstances get you down people also remember as you were healing you becoming more grounded more balanced more stable in yourself in your self-image in your sense of self it's like you've become someone different now where you're much more grounded in who you are no one can shake your belief of self and that's something people really admire now of how you've changed over the years and people also really remember how grateful they were to have you in your life and also just how much love you gave them that's something i keep seeing People remember you doing things and finding you to be so talented while you do it and doing it with this grace and doing it like it's effortless. That's the kind of vibe I get as well. And people also remember you forgiving those that have created disruption in your life. And maybe at one point you you maybe told someone you know i'm frustrated with this person because they did this to me i i don't want to be their friend anymore and then it's like maybe they saw that saw you leave them and then later on saw you forgive them but not keep them in your life and that's something people remember the journey you went on to forgiveness and to healing that's something I see. But people also just remember you being such a joy to be around, being so playful, being so fun to be around. And your energy feels freeing to be around. That's something I see. So this was your reading, my pile number twos of what people remember about you. I really hope that this reading resonated. If it did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I can't wait to see you in my next reading. Bye. Hi there, my pile number threes. If you chose this How Light Crystal, this reading is for you. We're going to be taking a look at what people remember about you. Please be aware this is a general reading to only take what resonates and leave the rest. And also be aware how people remember you may not be how you remember yourself, but this is just their perspective. So just keep that in mind. You chose the card, the swan with transformation and trusting the psychic gifts. I'm going to go ahead and lay the rest of your cards out. Let's see what shows up. Okay, so for your cards, we have sorceress with you are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality we have blossoming with you are just getting started so have patience with yourself and the process and do not give up we have idyllic times with the garden and paradise We have Harvest with Gathering of Blessings. We have the Tower. We have the Four of Pentacles. We have the Two of Wands. And we have the strength card. We have the queen of wands. We have the star. We have the hermit.
And lastly, we have the magician. Okay, so before we start with your reading, I do have a small favor to ask from you. The last three months, 80% of people who watch my channel didn't subscribe. So if you've ever liked any of the videos I've posted and you like this channel, can you do me a favor and hit the subscribe button? It helps my channel more than you know, and the bigger the channel gets, the more content I can create and put out to you guys. I'd also like to say thank you to everyone who has been here since the beginning, supporting, commenting, sending love. Thank you for all your support and for those that have subscribed within the past few days. Thank you for all your support. I'm so, so, so grateful and sending so much love. Thank you and enjoy the reading. Okay, my pal number three. So in terms of what people remember about you, I'm seeing people remember you once be in a place where you were so hurt, where you were going through a lot of heartbreak, a lot of pain in your life. And you know what Spirit is showing me? A conversation I had with a friend. It was a while ago. But then like um, she was kind of talking about how something knocked her over. Like the universe knocked her out of her place. You get what I mean? And... Um, now I'm hearing that song, um, he shot me down, bang, bang, I hit the ground, bang, <laughs> um, my baby shot me down. So I'm hearing that song. So I, I guess it doesn't necessarily have to mean love, but I guess people remember you going through a time in your life where you were heartbroken in some way, where you're going through some type of pain or sadness. I'm feeling some of you it had to do with your home or like your family or the people you lived with or ex-friendships. It's like you really had to tend to your broken heart and heal and nurture your broken heart and you really had to find a different perspective from that and find that light within you while you were going through dark moments and it's like people saw you going through that and remember you going through that and I guess some people saw that those that were kind of not wanting the best for you some people saw that and thought it would defeat you but it's like it actually taught you how powerful and strong you were because with the tower card here, this is just warrior energy to me because usually the tower card is like the scary card of everything falling apart. But in this case, we see this woman kicking down this tower to have this crown fall on her head. And basically, it gives me like this warrior vibe and basically what I was trying to get to, the point I was trying to get to, the conversation I had with her was like at a time where she was really knocked over by the universe and she felt like people were knocking her over left, right and center. And um, I kind of saw a vision of her like being punched in the face and I felt like my face was being punched when I started your reading like I felt like my jaw was sore like I was literally punched over and I hit the ground and like I saw a vision of her getting to the ground then laughing like Harley Quinn and then just punching the person back and I don't know why I get that same vibe from you and I saw her like Harley Quinn laughing and then hitting them back. So I saw that same vision for you. Almost like people were trying to knock you over. People were trying to hurt your feelings. People tried to put you in a place where you were really at the bottom. And I think sometimes people were wishing that you would stay in a place that was... I guess this is toxic people I'm picking up on where you were in a place where you were disadvantaged and it's like if people physically knocked you over maybe not physically but like emotionally knocked you over it's like you brought yourself back up kicked down the tower and got your crown as a result of this kind of warrior kind of energy you have. And it's like people that once saw you going through that pain, others felt very sorry for you. 
maybe not sorry, but like they wanted to nurture you and comfort you in some way while you were going through that. Like people that actually cared about you. And it's like they remember you going through that and they just wanted to give you love. They just wanted to nurture you in some way. As we see in the strength card, this woman nurturing this baby as a depiction of strength. And there's something here about you being so strong, being so resilient and finding that light within you and almost like bringing yourself back up after something has knocked you down and knocking that thing down finding your strength and your resilience within finding that light within you because it's like you were in the dark and you couldn't see light around you but you were that light all along and it's like I feel like people remember you finding your feet and getting back up and starting again and kind of just having this vibe of deep internal exploration of finding yourself of finding who you want to be in the world and creating that with the magician card and that's how people remember you but also people remember you having this inner strength that is so gentle because you're a very nurturing person or at least that's how people remember you people remember you to be very nurturing very kind but that strength is like a gentle strength of nurturing of comfort of having a big heart and it's like you blossomed and bloomed and people threw dirt on you and you took that as fertilizer to blossom and bloom even more with this blossoming card and that's something I see here people really admire this gentle yet great internal strength you have that is you being your most loving and compassionate self, but also you blossoming while things were trying to knock you over. Does that make sense? I hope it does, but that's something I see and people remember you transforming. Once being in a place where everything felt so stuck, everything felt so difficult and people remember you going within finding yourself and transforming and working on yourself and it's like you have been this ever-growing flower that is always transforming always becoming more beautiful always becoming more graceful by the minute and it's like you've been transforming ever since and that's what people remember about you how you're always transforming, how you're always growing, how you're always blossoming and blooming no matter what life throws at you. It's like, okay, um, life is throwing dirt at me. I'm going to sit right here and let this dirt go into me and I'm going to blossom like a beautiful flower. Okay, um, <laughs> life doesn't seem to be that great right now. I'm really going to have strength and resilience and push through. And you know what? I'm not satisfied with this. I'm going to create a world where everything is beautiful, full of unicorns and rainbows and like sunshine and vivid colors. Um, you know, I don't really like the world we're living in right now. I don't really like the life I'm living right now. I'm going to create a reality that is like paradise to me. That is the most beautiful reality to live. And that's how people remember you, to be so magical, but creating a world around you that is magical, that is full of hope. Like, okay, you don't like a world where there's magical unicorns here, that's okay, you can be on earth, but I'm here in this paradise I've created for myself. And that's how people remember you, creating your own sense of paradise in the world and kind of like bringing this energy of I can create anything, I can create any reality I want to live and using that kind of dissatisfaction with life to empower you and push you forward and motivate you towards really finding your strength and creating something different and that's something people really have admired about you. I'm hearing a ringing in my ears now. So yes, I think people have seen you rebirth yourself constantly and find yourself 
and shine even brighter after you were knocked over. That's what I see here with the star. People have seen you heal. People have seen you kind of go through the most, but then come back shining even brighter. I feel like people remember you to be that way. Like nothing can knock you down. I'm going to shine even brighter if something tries to knock me down. I'm going to shine even brighter if someone tries to dim my light. Like that type of energy. And I think a lot of people remember you letting go of people around you that were very clearly jealous of you. Very clearly trying to dim your light or trying to make you feel less like yourself. And I think people really admire the way you dealt with certain things like that. And I guess that's what they remember you being like. But I think also some people saw you healing your heart and saw you transform in your life. And now it's like they ask you for advice because they know that you have the wisdom to be able to share with people. It's like that kind of story. I don't know what it's called, but like um, I'm hearing Thanos and what I remember from him was he took people through the underworld when they passed on. But like as we're talking about transformation, I see that as like death rebirth cycles in your life. And maybe you went through the underworld and guided yourself through the underworld to the heavens and then brought that knowledge down and like kind of created your reality with that knowledge and created a paradise around you, brought the heavens back down to earth. Like that type of feeling of you've been to the underworld, but you've also been to the heavens. And it's now like you're bringing the heavens down to earth. You're bringing the magical realms down to earth and you're creating your reality to be like that. But you're also showing people that we can see so much beauty in the world. We can create so much beauty in the world just by that pure belief and by embodying that energy. And it's like now people come to you for guidance on how to get themselves out of the underworld and how to create a paradise around them. Because we as humans are always deserving of living that type of paradise on earth. It's a matter of actually going out there and first transporting yourself through the underworld and then creating heaven on earth once you've reached that certain type of wisdom and healing. So that's what I see people remember you and it's like I think people also remember you to be very beautiful not just like all your strengths and things people also admire you for your beauty it's like you are very physically beautiful but also very much internally beautiful and it's like people remember you for the beauty of your heart for how you treated everyone around you like family for how you treated those you love with nurturing with compassion for how connected you are with your emotions and how connected you are to your intuition and it's like People remember the kind words you've said to them, the things you the things you said to them when you complimented them. People remember the beauty within your heart. And that's something I see in how you just made them feel at home within themselves around you. Like I can be myself and not feel judged in any way. And it's like people just remember the love you gave them, how loyal you were to them. And the type of love you give, Spirit is explaining it to be unconditional love. And that's something people remember. People also remember your gentle nature, yet your gentleness is what makes you strong. And people remember how protective you were over those you love and how... You created out of that gentleness, this fierce independence and this fierceness in you of like, I'm strong yet gentle at the same time. I'm independent yet I have love around me at the same time. I set healthy boundaries yet I am so giving with my love at the same time. And it's like people once remember you 
maybe just being gentle but now they see you and how you've reached your sense of self-worth within yourself but also independence where it's like that balance of love for self but also your love for yourself that love for self but love for others as well balance of that so that's something I see and like people just remember how you were once so restricted but you created something different you took courage and you kind of took action towards your goals and it's like you've made very courageous moves or very bold moves in like your life and really went out there to work hard and achieve the things you want you really put in action and focus towards building your world around you and I, I feel here especially in career and your achievements it's like people remember how much hard work you put into the things you want and kind of like achieving that as we see here in this four of pentacles because usually the four of pentacles is saving and holding on to things but in this case we see this woman achieving something so it's like people remember you and your courageous kind of energy to go after the things you want with this fierceness with this courage with this kind of energy of passion and people remember you to be so passionate about your hobbies and the things you love to do and how you used to smile about the things you used to like and it's like I think people really like that about you when you got excited about things you were passionate about when you got excited about the things you want to create in your reality and that's something I see um and I think people remember you to be working towards that and saying you know that person is going to be really abundant in the future that person is going to be really prosperous in the future and it's like you have reached that or you are on the way to reaching that and it's like that's what people remember but also how you just have this abundant view of the world like there are plenty of people in love out there there's plenty opportunities out there you know the world is your oyster and that's how people remember you, how you used to view the world, how you used to view the future with optimism and kind of go after the things you want fearlessly and kind of like spirit is showing me the full card. Take leaps of faith towards your dreams and your hopes and it's like people remember how you believe in miracles, how you believe in your dreams and I think people, a lot of people found inspiration from that and followed your lead that's something I see people like I said earlier like about you helping people people remember how you gave them words of wisdom and how you helped them in some way as well and how you kind of just how you kind of just helped them and nurtured them in some way I think a lot of people remember the type of love you gave them the words of wisdom you gave them the kind words that you gave them um, the conversations you had something about the things you said I'm hearing that song now all the things you said all the things you said <laughs> so it's like uh, people remember the things you said to them very clearly and I think a lot of people still hold on to the things you've said some of the things you've said have really helped them move forward or really find their sense of empowerment within themselves like let's say you complimented someone and they still hold on to that that's something people remember people also remember how amazing and great your mind is and how grounded you are how down to earth you are that's something people remember and how you kind of just make everyone feel around you like this is a community like we're one like we can all be happy together and all celebrate life together and all love each other and it's like people remember how you view the world with this magic and with this vivid color and like how you brought color into everyone else's life and how how much playfulness you brought into people's lives and laughter and smiles and it's like people remember how bright you shine and how beautiful your light is and how your light can never go out and that's something people will always remember 
how your light will never go out and how it will always shine brighter and brighter and brighter. And that's something I see here. People also remember how truthful you were in moments when they needed that truth. And I think a lot of people from your past have started to look at you in a different perspective now especially people that didn't really see you in the past. Now they're really starting to understand you and really starting to get you and like, oh, okay, I get it now. Um, like after seeing you create your reality, it's like, okay, I get it now. I can see why you saw things that way. I feel like I'm also hearing ahead of your time. A lot of people remember you to be ahead of your time where you have innovative things or things you want to create ideas and it's like so ahead of your time um it kind of reminds me of like you know when artists release things and it's ahead of the time and then it's like people follow in their lead and it becomes some kind of trend so people remember you to be a trendsetter and remember you to be very much in your power very much in your courage very much spreading your light to others and shining brightly and never stopping shining brightly you get what I mean that's something I see and I think people also notice you to have very strong manifestation skills how you've manifested the life you wanted how you've created the life you wanted by really believing by really going after what you want and I think a lot of people remember certain talents you had or saying you know that person really has star qualities over there um they're gonna be big one day in their art or in their music or whatever like um and then let's say you do or let's say you know people see you really being talented at certain things and they're like that person's gonna be the next um big thing in science you know for example or that person over there that they're gonna be the b next famous model or whatever it is I'm not sure exactly because there's so many of you here but like that's the examples I see it's like people saw your star qualities and your talents and how you just gracefully did things without looking like you even tried just this effortless kind of energy and I think most of all, people remember your pure and gentle soul, how you have this internal strength of being such a lover on earth and being such a magical light to others on earth. So this is what I see in your reading of what people remember about you, my pile number threes. I really hope that this reading resonated. If it did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I can't wait to see you in my next reading. Bye.